Hey everyone, I'm Ian Douglas, the author of the website techinterview.guide. I do live streams every Sunday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern about topics relevant to interview preparation for the tech industry. I occasionally record longer Q&A sessions and I've started to break those into smaller videos to post. And there'll be information at the end of this video about how to get in contact with me if you have additional questions. Let's get to it. Uh, next one on the list, how do you answer brain teaser questions like how many windows are in your city? This is sometimes framed as if you were going to charge money to wash every window in your city, how much money would you charge? Um, this can also be asked like how many gas stations are there in your city or how many golf balls fit in a school bus? All these kinds of sort of brain teaser kinds of questions are out there. Some of them are meant just to kind of break the ice a little bit, um, just to get you thinking a little bit and to hear your critical thinking kind of on the fly. Some of those questions, though, are a little weird uh, in nature, and some people just don't like answering those kinds of questions. Um, I, I'm guilty of asking those kinds of questions in the past. In fact, I used to ask the gas station one, how many gas stations were there in Los Angeles? Um, and we would get a lot of different people like kind of breaking the problem down in a lot of similar ways. And honestly, it didn't give a lot of good signals around, oh yeah, this person's clearly thinking about this thing differently. Uh, very rarely would we get any like groundbreaking, like, whoa, we never would have thought of that. Like, that's a great way to think about that kind of problem. Most people don't, uh, don't answer those kinds of questions in any way that gives off good information to us as interviewers to tell us that you know you're you're a better candidate than someone else um if you do get asked the question you should make an attempt to uh to answer the question um like you don't want to stall and be like well you know i don't really know how to answer that kind of question like you want to take a crack at it um but yeah just keep in mind it's not giving them very good signals really they're just trying to test your critical thinking on the spot um, how would you start to break a problem down uh, for something like how many windows are in your city? I mean, you could go by population. You could go by number of houses, um, lots of different things, and, and then make assumptions about those. How many buildings are there? What's the average number of floors, the average number of windows per floor? Um, you could start breaking those things down. It's really just how do you, how do you take a really vague idea and break it down into smaller and smaller steps? Um, which honestly does play a little bit into the kinds of technical challenges that we tend to do in these interviews. Um, it's really coming down to how do you, how do you take uh, an idea or a concept and start breaking that down into smaller pieces that you could solve. Cool, what's up Dota2? Uh, good to see you in chat. Uh, developer interviews have gotten downright weird for them trying to figure out if you can do the job. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think the, the leak code tech challenge, I think is good for testing that you can kind of examine a problem and break it down and start to actually solve it in code. But again, the leak code style problems are typically not very indicative of what you're doing on the job. Um, and so while it does give good signals to us as interviewers about how you think through a problem, how you break it down, it doesn't necessarily give you a good signal as a candidate of what your day-to-day -day responsibilities are going to be like at the company. So there is a, a pretty big disconnect there, I agree. Um, yeah, how many golf balls can you fit in a school bus? How's that going to determine if I can code? Exactly. Um, it doesn't. Um, but it does tell us a little bit about how you think. But, I mean, there's so many unknowns. Like, how big is the bus? How tall is the bus? Um, are the seats in the bus? If the seats are out, I can fit a lot more golf balls in there. Um, is the front door open? If so, they're going to, like, start to fall out after a certain point. Are the windows down? If so, I can't go right to the ceiling. Is the ceiling rounded or square? Um, you know, and, and so it also comes down to a little bit of, like, what kinds of clarifying questions do you ask? Um, you know, it can, it can vary quite a lot. So, Hey, thanks for watching. I love helping people out with interview prep, and I hope this video helped you in some way. If you found this Q&A useful, please consider subscribing. You can follow me on Twitch as well for the live stream twice a week. Check out techinterview.guide slash streaming for more information. I also have a daily email series that you can subscribe to on the website. There are never any ads, and when you finish the series, I scrub your information out of my database permanently. Finally, if you have a question that you'd like answered on the stream, you can find my contact info on techinterview.guide. I prefer LinkedIn or email. If you leave your question in a YouTube comment, it might take me longer to find it, but I'll see you next time.